this tutorial today was requested a while ago and I'm just getting the time to actually do it but I'm super excited about it because I think it's a really cool way for you to add some fun and some interest to a presentation or to your portfolio or real talk just to get somebody to stop scrolling past your your posts on social media <laughs> So every once in a while, I do these really basic animations with my digital illustrations, whether it's to promote a class or to promote an event, and people really seem to like them. And I've gotten a lot of requests to share how I do them. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. The two programs I use for this are Illustrator and ScreenFlow. And if you're not familiar with ScreenFlow, it's just a video editing tool for Mac users. But you can use any video editing software as long as you can see a timeline. So Camtasia, Premiere, iMovie, even Photoshop will allow you to do this. The first thing I do is decide on what I want to animate. And remember, keep it simple. I've done blowing a bubble, blinking the eyes, tapping a finger. And for this example, I'm going to do blinking and moving the eyes. Of course, the first thing you need to do is create the main digital rendering. Then separate into layers the objects that will animate and the objects that will stay static. For this, everything will be static except the eyes. Also, since my girl wears glasses and the eyes blink behind the glasses, they'll need to be on a separate layer as well. You'll notice I also have hair, skin, a few other things separated into layers. This is really just to make it easier for me to manage the illustration, not the animation. So it's not necessary for you to have the extra layers if you don't want them. Now, when she blinks, her eyes will be closed. So even though you'll only see it for like a millisecond, I need to illustrate my girl with her eyes closed. Also, I want to have her eyes move from side to side, so I need to do an illustration for her eyes looking left and her eyes looking to the right. Each of those eye illustrations need to be in separate layers. Eyes to the right, eyes to the left, and eyes closed. And once you do that, you should be able to show one eye layer at a time and see a complete illustration. Next, I'm going to export PNG files of each picture. Choose which file you're going to create first and hide the other layers. Then go to File, Export, Export As. Choose PNG as the format and be sure to choose the box Use Artboards. On the next screen, choose a medium resolution 150 dpi and make sure the background color is white. All other settings can stay as a default. So now let's go to the video software and create a new document. Make sure you choose the best video format for the platform you're posting on. So if you're posting to Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, you'll want to choose 1920 by 1080. But if you're planning to post to Instagram, make sure you choose the 640 by 640 Instagram setting or create a setting where the width and the height are the same so the size is square. Leave the default frame rate at 30. Once you create your new document, you'll want to work in the timeline, and that's where you're going to organize and create the animation. Import your PNG files and then drag the first picture with the eyes forward onto the timeline. It will automatically make the clip five seconds, which seems like a short time, but in animation, it's actually a little long. So I'm going to adjust the timing to one second by right mouse clicking to open the clip inspector and adjusting the duration. The next clip will be a blink, so I'm going to drag the clip of her eyes closed to the timeline and adjust the duration to 0.2, a quarter of a second. Then add another clip with her eyes to the right or left. I'm going to adjust that to a half a second. And then go back to a look forward. And this time I'm just gonna copy and paste the first clip so I don't have to adjust it again. Another blink. Another blink. 
and then look in the opposite direction. And you can put this in whatever order you want. If you wanted to blink more or look forward again before you blink, it's really up to you. Play the animation and make sure the speed is to your liking. I usually have to adjust the blink and make it faster so it appears more natural and not like she's doing a slow blink. Once you're ready, export your file as an MP4. Go to File, Export. Choose Automatic or Manual and note that Automatic will create a larger file. I usually choose web high in the manual settings which creates a slightly smaller file and I haven't seen a significant difference in the quality of the video. One important thing to make sure you choose is the resolution. I chose to create this for Instagram so make sure that when you export that it's exported in that size and doesn't default to 1080p otherwise you'll have extra black spacing around the video. Once it exports Take one last look and make sure the animation appears natural. And if you're happy with it, you're ready to share. If not, go back to the video editing software and adjust. Now before anybody comments, yes, I know there is other software that is made for animation and it's probably easier, but this is a great option for you if you're trying to do something very basic, very simple, and you wanna use the software that you already have and that you're already familiar with. Thanks for watching this week's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.